Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to Not Your Everyday Critics. I'm your host, George Lugo. And I'm Manny Rivera. And if you've never seen the show before, we do re- is rate, review, and critique movies of all genres, budgets, and types. And sizes. Over, oh. yeah, and sizes. <laughs> <laughs> with over 500,000 movies going on, plus more, uh, we're here to bring you our best critiques possible to let you know what we think. And uh, I think we can crack off a couple in this episode because today we have a very fun, uh, a very fun New Year's episode that we are, you know, Happy New Year that we're going to do. We're doing guilty pleasure movies. Each of us is going to have one movie we're going to talk about each and we're just going to delve right into those movies and kind of like break down like what we enjoyed about them. So I think we can start with Manny. What is your guilty pleasure film? Uh, my guilty pleasure film, um, it's actually The Shadow with Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, and dude. I talked to you about this. No, I didn't. Right, right, right when you mentioned it, I was like, oh, yeah, he fucking knew. <laughs> and I've been wanting to bring this up too for a uh, while. It's actually one of my, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's that, a, is, that is such a fun <laughs> movie. It yeah. is such a fun, it's a crappy movie. It's not a good film, it's not <laughs> whatsoever a good film. But it is so fun. fun. The comedy in that, I mean, the shadow, the knows. shadow, the the way the shadow moves through the walls, the actors, the way they, I like how they interact with each it's, other because it, it's fucking, it's, uh, it's Alec Baldwin. Yeah, so Alec Baldwin. I like I like when he becomes a shadow. His face changes entirely. He has a long, pointy nose. Like I'm like, yeah, it's <laughs> so crazy. It's like it's like these deep eyes, this long point, and he's got this bandana over uh, his like face, but the nose comes over yeah. and everything. Like it's so pointy. He's got Almost this, like he's Jewish. He's got this, he's got this weird. It's, it's not probably like, what it was. Like the whole movie's about that. This weird hat cape and and it's and he has like gl- these black gloves shoots all these fucking guns off and he's so precise with some of his fucking shots i do like his character thing. in the beginning though so his character is kind of like he he's like a like a fucking uh almost like a mongol where he's got all these fucking concubines with him yeah. right and he's like a fucking crazy conqueror and, and then he kind of just gets taught he he goes into like the uh with where the fucking monks are he goes to like the yeah fucking, yeah yeah he learns all that he learns all stuff. their shit it's so kind of the, interesting the idea of what his ability is is uh he has like these i don't know like the uh, like psychic abilities or telekinesis, telekinesis. well yeah. not just telekinesis but um i think he's also telepathic telepathetic so he has, uh telepathetic. he's telepathetic yeah <laughs> so he's able to manipulate people's minds you remember that scene where that would be telepathy so yeah uh where there's like a big open space but all of a sudden he starts to see this building form in front of him because the other guy that comes from the i guess the dynasty or whatever because he came out of a coffin that yeah. from back in the day he's uh basically messing with everybody's mind to not see this entire building so what it is is the psychic he thinks ability he's Professor to Xavier. cover everybody's <laughs> mind that they cannot see it. So shadow uh, Alec Baldwin's ability is to he's not really in the shadows or anything, but he makes them believe because they're like so weak minded right. that he's coming from the shadows, and that's the whole character that he's giving off. He's changing his face in that kind of ordeal, which is huh. like kind of weird that he's doing that in a sense because like if he's trying to fight people. Why come out of the shadow to show your location anyway when you just <laughs> stay in the in shadow? There, bam, yeah. bam, you know what I mean? But Be like, you know, again, this, this this movie is so fun. It's so funny. Uh, it's not a great movie whatsoever, like, well, but I enjoy it so much. It's such a and, 90s movie. <laughs> it's a very 90s film. It's a film. very yeah. 90s uh, film. But it for me, it's just it, it just hit all the... I saw this when I was... I don't know. I was I was super small, and I fell in love with it like... <laughs> It was great for me when I saw everything. It was like, oh shit! It was super cool and everything like that. So, that's what that's uh, my guilty pleasure movie that I enjoy from back nineteen ninety whatever it is. Yeah, there's a lot of movies yeah. that were like guilty pleasure movies. If like I had, 90s. if I had to ask, well, what would, what, do you, what would you personally rate it? What would I? You can you can put in nostalgia it? and everything. So I mean, just. What nostalgia? Would you really, yeah, you can put in whatever you want. Okay, for nostalgia reasons, I these are def- guilty pleasure. This films. is a guilty pleasure uh, film. So for nostalgia reasons, I would give this movie a four. Okay, but yep. if I were to actually rate this movie, it probably wouldn't go further than a two. Yeah, it was it like two yeah, and a half? Like, like, <laughs> I think two and a half is pushing it. Yeah, so. <laughs> so it probably wouldn't Being go generous. further. Than a two. Very generous. 
I mean, this movie is super fun. It's definitely enjoyable. It's a fun like, film. If you show your kids yeah. right now, they probably wouldn't enjoy it as much. But back then, kids when I like saw movies. it as a kid, I thought, oh, man, this was so awesome. This guy going in, moving into the shadow, the, the, the fight scenes and... It's just the 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 funny moments behind it and everything. It was just it was fun for me to watch. It was like very like I love the superhero aspect of it all. I, I it was great. It's one thing that I I I haven't watched in a good minute. But the last time I watched it was maybe a couple years ago. <laughs> it's it was, one of those movies though you can probably recall like scene for scene though. Oh yeah, yeah. it's definitely one of those movies that I can. Yeah. Do. it's so yeah. much fun. So much fun. For sure. I know we missed this, but let's do a cheers. Oh yeah. yeah. Cheers, boy. Thank you, David. Oh, clink, clink, clink. Ooh. Oh, wow. Let's Feel the beer. rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Haven't. Had it. <laughs> That's a good one. Dead red, man. red Stripe is Red Stripe is great. I always um, think of Quincy when I think of this beer. Because the always. first time I had it was with, uh, with Quincy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he would always bring it to him like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. It's good beer, man. It's good yeah. beer. Uh, David. What is your guilty pleasure film? I was trying to think of stuff, and I thought of Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow. I've never watched it all the way through. Everybody hates that fucking movie. I, I, I just never watch all the way through because I just, I feel like every time I want to sit down and watch it, I have I to get up and do something. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't like, like for me, like at home when I'm watching movies with my nieces or something in the living room, because like the TV's so far back and so is the sound bar. Mm -hmm. So I have to turn it up, but it's too loud in the kitchen because the sound goes like right into there. I know. What you guys need is like a... Uh, the sound system, like, in behind, the back, the behind, couch, yeah. yeah. And it'd be a lot easier, but... Yeah. And also, too, like, you know, the big space, people walking back and forth. It's like, yeah. dude, like, get out the fucking way. You're ruining it. I got to tell you, I, I you should get like seen a, this movie. One of those accordion doors and just close it off when you're watching movies. Like, we're busy. Bring, bring the TV, like, closer or something like that. I don't know. I got to do yeah, something. I, I've never seen this movie. I don't even know what this movie is about. So it would, takes... Well, it's kind of like a little tribute. Weird. It's Angelina Jolie, right? Angelina Jolie, yeah. Jude Law... Um, Gwyneth Pontro's in there. Two hot bitches. Yeah. And so it's like, I don't know, like a sort of a weird, like, take on a homage to, like, the adventure films of, like, the 30s and 40s or something like that, you know? Yeah. Where he's, like, you know, he's the sky captain. He's a pilot. And he's, like, uh, fighting these, like, <laughs> robots and shit that are, like, trying to take over the world. Like, an evil, like, you know, per like a villain and shit like that. Nice. But the way they filmed it, all of it was, you know, I think mostly digital and shit. Primitive. Really? Yeah, because okay. I think when did that come out? It came out like 2005? Something like, was it 2005? I remember like I, late 90s or early early aughts. It was early 2000s, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And I remember um, it's just how the old film, like noir, when they had those like close ups, that sort of a creamy, creamish sort of like hue around the frame or the girls' faces, they kind of had like that. Like vignettes. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of had that like uh, throughout the whole film. Okay. And so, like, the close-ups and shit like that. So, I don't know. It's, it's, to me, I liked it. It's, like, a little action What did thing. you like about the movie? The story, I guess. I don't know. It's just, like, just the fact that, you know, it's, like, kind of takes place sort of, like, in the 40s, which is, like... like so, yeah, with uh, Sky Captain, it's, um like, this uh, organization. It's supposed to be, like, Nazis because the name is Totenkampf or something like that. Okay. And they have these robots that are like kidnapping scientists all over the world and shit like that. <laughs> and they're building, yeah. yeah. It's this huge, like, stupid little plot. They're kind of building like a sort of Noah's Ark. Okay. To go into outer space or something like that. But I don't know. It's just the, the action sequences ain't too bad. Obviously, it's like when you watch it, like, it's very early digital, like, green screen shit. So it's like kind of, it's grainy, awfully okay. grainy, considering. But well, it's early 2000s, right? So, yeah. yeah. But, gotta, I mean, like, yeah, I, I, I get the style they're going for, which, obviously, the 40s films would be, like, grainy and shit like that, but it's, like, you know, the sort of kind of... They went too far with the graininess. A little bit. <laughs> too far. Like, everything's kind of, like... Uh, they could have went, like, Saving Private Ryan. Well, that's, like, a little bit... That's gritty and not grainy. <laughs> it's, a little, <laughs> it's a little different. But I think with, um, with that movie, it's just, like, uh, the colors are sort of... Um, they're not as... Bright and poppy. Everything's just sort of like washed out to a, the same single sort of tone. Mm. You can tell that there's different colors. However, you just can't quite see like, you know, there's like a lot of dark spots and shit like that. I don't know. Mm. But other than that, I mean, like a lot of people fucking hate that movie. It's like terrible because nobody, a lot of people don't like looking at visuals when they're a shit thing. Mm -hmm. I always kind of like, I can brush that off so long as there's a good story. Yeah. Kind of thing. I agree. Yeah. If the story is good, the visual is always it's always second. It's always secondary, so, yeah. Yeah, that's why I always say like as long as you have a good story fleshed out, it doesn't matter. Like yeah. people can work past the issues of you know I don't have enough money for the production. I don't have this. Like it's fine. Get a good story. Let's stick yeah, to it. for like yeah. when I was saying about the shadow, 
there's a lot of color, a lot of pop into it and everything like that, but it was done wasn't done great. It was it was done pretty bad. But the story behind it, the story behind it was actually really good. Yeah. And that the shot was actually a comic too. So Yeah, it's a comic book. Yeah. So but I understand what you mean by that. And that's like, you know, guilty pleasure movies. Mm-hmm. What is it called again? Sky, Sky Captain, Captain and the World, of, and the world to, of Tomorrow. I got to take a look at that. Yeah. It sounds interesting, so I got to take a look. So what would you rate your movie with the nostalgia and then without the nostalgia? With the nostalgia, probably a four. Uh-huh. Without maybe like three. Maybe a three? Yeah. Okay. Because you really enjoyed this movie. So I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you see some of the... Plot errors in between some of the movie, but you actually had a good time. With There's it. like stuff that I can forgive and stuff like, but you know, like the the campiness of the humor and everything like that. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's a, a good movie. The action sequences are, like, the stories there. You know, yeah. I don't know. I've always wanted to do something like that though, because I've always been intrigued with film noir and that kind of uh, era of film and everything yeah. like that. So it was just seeing something like that to be presented in a modern sort of take was always very like intriguing to me. It's interesting. Uh, Angelina Jolie has a p- eye patch. Yeah. <laughs> what about right. you? Uh, mine's going to be Howard the Duck. Uh, uh, yeah. I knew it. Yeah, I knew. I fucking knew it too. Yeah. Howard, <laughs> the motherfucking duck. Yeah, I'm sure to share you saw that coming also for his favorite. I kind of like thought about it right for now for a like, long time ago because George yep. and I were roommates for a long time, and his favorite freaking movie. He's like. You've never seen my Howard f- the Duck? It's my favorite guilty pleasure and film. He's, he, <laughs> sh- he automatically, he has Howard the Duck, and he put the movie on. and On DVD, I, even. On, <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. It was like a Blu-ray or just DVD? It was DVD. just DVD. Oh, yeah, they're not putting and that on And he put Blu-ray. it on, and we watched <laughs> it. 4K and stuff, huh? It's, <laughs> it's not a great movie. Really, it was a fun movie, but it's not it's, a it's great actually movie. Very, it's actually a very fun movie, but it's definitely not good. Is it a lot more means. nostalgia for you? Is definitely more more nostalgia. I grew up watching that film a lot. My dad likes that film, but we all know that my dad doesn't like good films. I think that's probably <laughs> my dad yeah. too. He always like I remember going to like you know um, blockbuster or some shit like that. You know, remember those? You know what? When you go to like you know, like Walmart where they had that big fucking metal basket full of cheap ass DVDs. Yeah, the bin. Oh yeah, yeah the, the ones big that are bin. like five dollars. Yeah, it's like we gotta get rid like of this that. shit. It's like a dollar movie. It's like he would like go sort through that. He's like, oh, this one looks good. I'm like, oh, I don't know, Pop, just put that down. There's a whole shelf full of really good movies over here, you know? You know what's funny? He's I like, saw but this the, one's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the fifth <laughs> element <laughs> in that bucket. They do that every once in a while. It's, they don't only drop garbage movies in there. They'll drop. Okay. They'll drop like big movies, movies that, as long as yeah, that probably haven't. Been as long as it's like yeah. they've remastered it like five times. Yeah, I and saw the it fifth cost element. Like five bucks. Bu- I saw the fifth element in that kind of bucket, and I'm like, really? In Target, the- I remember Target doing something like that. They had like five dollar yeah. movies, and they had like really good fucking movies. They had mm-hmm. like, I think they had like a ten dollar movie thing, and it was like Goodfellas and Casino. I was like, I regret not buying it now, but I was like, <laughs> oh, come back another time. And so tell us about Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck, uh, Jesus Christ! This movie's this movie's uh, it's it's really out there. It take takes it starts on a different planet and it's like a planet that had the whole species. The dominant oh, species ducks. is is ducks. Nice. And then Howard comes home. It's kind of like it's very noir in the beginning. Like he's walking through his house. He like drops his keys. He puts his shit down. You see all this duck shit everywhere. Like, <laughs> like they couldn't emphasize it more enough that yeah, okay, it's a duck. He's yeah. a duck. You know, yeah. so, get yeah. it. It's like he's a duck. It's great. And uh, fucking, he gets basically pulled to Earth like through this crazy like tractor beam, and like he gets sucked onto his couch and just like it's Ice pulled. He gets pulled through like fucking apartment, apartment, apartment. And there's like one scene with the duck, this, this fucking female duck. She's taking a bath. And you see her little fucking female duck, duck titties. titties. Nice. I was like, what? Dude? She's got feathery tits. Dude. <laughs> they're not going to have like human tits on a fucking duck. <laughs> they're feathery but they're human esque, you they're know, human. They're shape. Like, I get it. Yeah, yeah. But they're covered in feathers. What do you expect? I guess. I mean, hey, every, everybody's got a kink, bro. Yeah. I mean, you seen those fairies out there? That's true. It's probably this movie's probably like what really kind of started. Maybe <laughs> right. you never know. Fairy tits. I always get weirded out when furry I see tits. mascots, dude. I really think that people who are in there are like low key furries, but it's like, hey, it's just my job. I'm like, no, you really enjoy this fuck. Yeah, you're like, trying to fuck in that thing. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't so, lie to me. So is yeah. the whole story of Howard the Duck trying to come back 
home because I know there's the whole a, story is I know there's a lot of he's trying to, in, in the movie he's too. trying in the movie he's trying to get back home and there's people trying to capture Howard right well he yeah he's, he's an alien movie. species so they're trying to capture him and study him I'm gonna be honest I saw this movie once with you a long time ago I can't remember the guy I gotta watch this with you then it's a it's a fun film uh I think the biggest actors in there is uh, Leah Thompson. Tim Robbins is in there. Oh, I love Leah Thompson. And uh, I can never remember the other guy's name. I'm trying to think of other names. Jeffrey just... Jones. Oh, oh, Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. He's Beetlejuice. Fucking, yes. uh, Jeffrey Jones. Yeah. yeah, the creepy the husband. Yeah, the husband. Um, oh, Ferris Bueller's Day, day Off. Watching. Yeah, okay. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So I feel like he doesn't he doesn't have a lot of leads. He's usually like a supporting actor. Yeah, I think he like got kind of blacklisted because he was doing like I think he was like involved in like child pornography and meth or some shit. Like really? That. Yeah. Some years back, and that's why they're like, we eh, gotta can't do it. I can put you out. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I remember. Yeah, he's always good at playing supporting roles, but yeah. I don't think I remember ever seeing him really in the lead. Uh, yeah, he, he didn't have many leading roles. Didn't that many? I forgot that he was in that but movie. But the movie's fun. I mean, if, if you've never seen it, it's definitely worth a watch. It's a fun, goofy, comedy, sci-fi film. Right. And if you want to see Leah Thompson fuck a duck, there you go. I just want to see her fuck, but... You know what? Sure. You <laughs> to, <laughs> I'm like, so, see her fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> put on, I'll be a furry. Put on a duck outfit. So, with the nostalgia and without the nostalgia, what would you rate the movie? Uh, with nostalgia. I think with nostalgia put in probably four and a half, and yeah. then without it's a big number. It's gonna be way less. Uh, like <laughs> it's gonna be way less because so many as, people did not like this movie. I mean, just as as a film, it's probably like a one and a half. A one and a half. Whoa, dude! Yeah, it's to, yeah. To, in in all honesty, it is it is on the top fifty uh, worst, worst movies. movies of all time. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I so remember it's like, it's, it is a guilty pleasure, but it's like, it's, it's my guilty pleasure. Fuck right. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, right? Don't let other people dictate what you like. He loves this movie. He loves this movie. Yeah. But yeah, he's done the research on how many people dislike this movie. And yeah, that's, he's that's like, that's, that's everybody. Low. That's everybody. Like, one, one and a half or some shit like that. One and a half. One and a half. If we're, ta- if we're really taking like all the, all the facets of the movie and then, and grading it for, it's probably about a one and a half. It's not a good film, but it's just it's it's, but it's fun. It's quirky, but it doesn't make it good. You know? Yeah. I mean, we've all said our guilty pleasure movies right now. How about some honorable mentions that you guys like a guilty Ooh. pleasure. Movie? I have a fat list for honorable mentions. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, these are films that I haven't seen in forever, but yeah. Yeah, I remember liking them and people. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. Oh. Yeah. An honorable mention that I uh, <laughs> want to, because I really love this movie too, <laughs> is The Phantom. Yeah, I, knew I was thinking s- about that one. I when knew you, you were going to say The yeah. Fucking Phantom. I was thinking about that one when you said The Shadow. I'm like, I, like, I like the that movie. The Phantom. Uh, it, okay, so this is a guilty pleasure movie that I saw also as a kid. Very Billy young, Zane. Going to 7-Eleven and getting the fucking ring. And getting the yeah. ring. Uh, and uh, also the the skulls, yeah. The, uh, also the like the skulls, and he has. The I wanted the fucking ring, ring though, something like that. But yeah, with Billy Zane, um, love Billy Zane, dude. He's got to do more movies, man. Come back. Come and back. yeah, this is such a crappy movie. It's so, <laughs> so fucking it bad. Again, but this kind of falls along like with the same sort of style <laughs> of uh, the like the thirties action, like uh, newsreels and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's. Yeah. It's like a Batman character if Batman had a stupid cousin or whatever that fucking dr- that was border- all in purple. Yeah, that was borderline, like, you know, questionable with his uh, sexuality. Like, <laughs> a purple leotard? <laughs> a purple leotard with a black mat. The thing is, when you see this movie, too, you see this character, uh, the Phantom. You mostly see him as the fan. You barely, rarely see Billy Zane, with Billy Zane him, yeah. as his, like, rich character in the movie. You see him every once in a while. But he is mostly in the purple costume as the Phantom and everything like that. But the acting is horrible. The acting <laughs> is horrible. The action sequences, not great at all. Yeah. Everything is really <laughs> unbelievable. But as a kid, it was one of the most enjoyable movies that I've seen. And it just takes me back. So... 
for me, the Phantom, I feel like I got to give an honorable mention just because it's it it, hit, it hits home for me. I love the Phantom. Okay. So if I if I'm gonna rate this movie, I'm gonna rate this movie at about a three and a half for nostalgia with, with nostalgia. nostalgia. Yeah. And I'm gonna barely give it a one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that movie in so long. I'm gonna barely give so it a yeah, one. I gotta, I gotta watch that again because it's so dumb. It's so stupid. I, I have so much fun with it, but it's it's. I mean, dumb as fuck. <laughs> go, go watch this movie if you really want to have waste a really your time. stupid yeah. time and everything like that. But for but sometimes me, those are fun to like pop in with the with you know some of your buddies and just have a couple of beers and just let it know, rip. Yeah. Just let it rip. <laughs> right. And watch Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> watch any of these movies that are terrible. <laughs> right? that we're suggesting to you again. We're giving you guys our guilty pleasure movies mm-hmm. here. So I mean, I don't think it was good. <laughs> it's, just, it's just it's just entertaining is all it's entertaining okay. just entertaining there's a difference between like a good film and an entertaining film because an entertaining is all it has to do is just make you happy to watch it yeah. right it doesn't necessarily need to be a fucking oscar winning film it's, it's films that you enjoy it doesn't have to be something that everyone else enjoys you know so yeah um okay yeah. so for me oh shit, i just had it what passed through your mind i literally I fucking should have wrote this down i should have wrote this one down. um spawn everybody hated that fucking movie I mean, I I guess uh, adults of the time hated it. Yeah, it didn't do very well because of that. But I think children of our generation, like our kids, our people up, our age, we grew up with the it. comics. Yeah, loved it. I mean, yeah. the comics were the fucking yeah. shit, dude. Me and my friend we would go out like every week and just like fucking buy the new one and like you know read it up and shit like that. So it was yeah. just, I was like obsessed with Spawn. You know, the whole character, the whole di- like, it's a really great story, and I've always kind of like I, when I when we, I got the chance to meet uh, Michael Jai White. Like at the Black, um, Black Dynamite DVD release party, mm-hmm. and that's how I like talk to. That's my my opening liner to go talk to him. I'm like, hey man, I don't care what anybody says, but I fucking loved you in Spawn, and he just starts laughing so fucking hard. Dude. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, dude. he was such a sweetheart, dude. He's so cool, very chill. He's very, he's a very cool guy. Yeah, but he's fucking tall, dude. He's tall, and he'll kill you with this fucking oh, yeah, back spinning kick. I'm sure, he yeah. Will. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Hey, are you still best friends with John Leguizamo? <laughs> <laughs> But that's another thing, dude. His both their performances in this movie were really great, really good. Yeah, yeah. especially like John Leguizamo because he had to like squat down the whole time and shit like that in that costume, and then all the makeup that Michael Jai White had to put on for the Spawn, you know, outfit like yeah, like, yeah, the, the, yeah. yeah. Because I I remember when they uh, they suited him up, they suited him up with like this the prosthetic, it's all prosthetic. latex, yeah, it's all latex and stuff, and latex stuff. work. And then they did all the fucking yeah. the scarred artwork mm-hmm. on him and everything like that. Yeah, I think it was actually pretty. Pretty cool. I actually enjoyed Spawn, even though I know like a lot of the lot of digital work it. was. You could tell, obviously. I yeah. think him dropping down from I the think if you go with the cape and everything was if you go so back and, badass. If you go back and watch it, it's like it's not as bad as you remember. No, because I watched it. I think like like five months ago. A lot of people just it was, like, it was on it was on Netflix for a while. Oh, was it? It was on Netflix yeah, for it was a while. On Netflix for a little bit. So I watched it and I was like, it's not as bad. It's fucking, I remember it all. Like, it's definitely a 90s film. It had the, the super long intro. Yeah. There was breaks in between certain yeah. scenes. Like, they did, like, that whole, like, the Batman thing. where I'm, But, like, just spawn shit. Mm. His cape was really fucking long. When he was, like, going from building to building, you yeah. just, like, that cape was just, like, never ending. <laughs> like, he's like, when is it going to go? Right? Away? It was, like, fucking, it was, like, like, it was, like, fucking 40 feet long, his yeah, cape. <laughs> yeah. One of the scenes that I really liked is... When I guess he got tipped over on his on his motorcycle when the bike you know how the bike the the, the cape transformed over. the bike oh yeah yeah and he tipped over and he stood back up and then the car is like coming at him or anything like that and then you just see the cape make its way up and then just digs into the ground and all of a sudden it's just like a big old fucking spike like a ramp right mm-hmm. there and the fucking car just dead stops because it just fucking stuck right there and then the cape just dis you know comes Goes back, back to, to being normal and he just fabric. stands up there and everything. That mask they have on him looks so fucking it, cool. Todd McFarlane like really so made a fucking great fucking cool. character. Even the toys. Remember back in the like the late eighties, early nineties, like the little toys, the first ones before the movie came out, they had mm-hmm. those like renditions yeah. of the toys and shit like that. I still have one of them. It's like the Spawn um, pirate when it goes back in time and shit like nice. that. Yeah, uh, uh, Mark actually, I believe, has a Spawn uh, figure, but the cape. The cape is the really badass part because you got the spawn figure, which is this this big or whatever. Right. But the cape is like monstrous right behind cool. him, floating or whatever. 
he's got it on like this podium that like stands on like on a, on a stilt or whatever it is. Right. And it's just so, because fu- they emphasize a lot on that cape. Mm-hmm. And it just looks so fucking cool to see like the little character, but the huge fucking powerful cape behind him. It was that's like fucking the cool. cape in his chains is what we're like. We gave yeah. him sort of like, oh, power. that's Remember sick the chains too. too? The chains. They also, the chains that also, they, they come out of them, right? It's yeah. just like, oh yeah, and that's. Man, that's actually... They had an animated series on HBO, and it was voiced by uh, Keith David. Keith David, oh. yeah. And he's fucking, like, oh, man. Like, it was graphic. It was, dude. Like, oh, graphic. was it? Yeah, it was, like, an adult oh, wow. cartoon. It was for adults, so yeah, gotcha, it definitely gotcha. was not for kids. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, even, like, they some of the... fucking and shit in there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Even one of the villains, uh, Billy Kincaid, like, was, like, a fucking pedophile, like, yeah. child. Yeah, so he's, he's, in the, he's in the comic. Yeah, yeah he's and he, in the what comic sucks is, like, when crazy. Spawn kills him in the comic, he goes to hell. And he makes a deal with Magnolia. He becomes like another fucking spawn as well. And he's like, God damn, I just can never get rid of you, can I? <laughs> he's a very powerful character. Yeah. So that's a good honorable mention. So with nostalgia and mm. without nostalgia, what would you rate this movie? With nostalgia, I'm going to give it a four again. Okay. And without it, I got to go at, at the three as well. Because it's, uh, to me, it's, it's pretty still, It's pretty well-rounded. It's pretty yeah. well, okay. Yeah, I got you. I, no, I, I get that. I, I can agree with that. I can, yeah. Yeah. I can understand where you're coming from. I get from. that. Yeah, say, I mean, we'll put a think. we'll put a list here think, of all the movies you know reviewed, I mean? yeah. and so you guys can you know thumb through and you know hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think of any of these films. If you've seen any, if you enjoy any, maybe tell us what your guilty pleasure films Please are. Please do. Yeah. yeah, we'd love to know. So uh, we're always looking for stuff to review, and I want to tackle more than just what's current this year. I want to do what's current, and also like I want to start diving into old films. I want and want to start doing old films yeah, again. Catalog of that. Yeah, we have a lot. We have a lot that I want to go through and a lot that I definitely want to review this year. Right. So I say uh, we definitely end it there. Definitely want to do Swamp Thing. <laughs> Swamp Thing? Damn, God dude. damn. Oh, what was that other movie, too, that I was thinking of? It reminds me of Swamp Thing is a Creep Show with Stephen King. Creep uh, Show. Remember when he gets yeah, that, that alien? He gets, he gets that, like, alien, like, oh, fucking Gordy, moss on him. Get it now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he fucking blows his head off. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best fucking part. Yeah, but great, again, we a got movie. a bunch of more movies that we're going to come up with. We're definitely going to have a lot of fun with uh, every single one of them. So, um, again, like George said, let us know what your guilty pleasure movies are. Please, uh, you know, like, subscribe. Uh, they can find us at. They can find us here on YouTube and, and also other? Anchor and Spotify. Anchor and Spotify. Yeah, I'll put links in the description below. Uh, you can email us at nyec.gse at gmail.com. You can check out our social media. Haven't been on there a lot posting stuff. I'm going to try and do it more this year. We'll see what happens. And I give mean, David just, some drink ideas, guys. Yeah, He's send send, send, send us some drink ideas. To either leave it in the comment or email us, you know. Uh, yeah, send us a link or anything. And uh, obviously we've been at this for, what, a couple years now? Maybe like a year and like four months. No, we were doing stuff. Because we had, we had our, our year episode. <laughs> we've been at we did, this for a little while now, guys. We've had the, our, our, we did our year episode with Danny. <laughs> oh, that's right. Ago. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. So a little over a year. Just a little over a year. But yeah, either way, it's a new year. and um, yeah. New year, new me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> send us some shit for us Give to us watch. some new ideas. Hope you enjoy our content as well. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Till next time, guys. Next time. Happy movie going. Happy movie Happy going. going. And he's a homo. Jingle, jangle. What the? Jingle.